Consider the coast of Ghana, which is home to a profusion of antique castles and forts that date back hundreds of years to the 16th century. When the slave trade was in full swing, these fortifications served as the starting point for slaves' harrowing journey across the Atlantic, where they would never be reunited with their loved ones. Over a 500-kilometer stretch of Ghana's coastline, stretching from Kedah in the east to Bain in the west, a succession of castles and fortifications were constructed between 1482 and 1786 to secure the country's trade routes. These fortified trading centers served as a deterrent against attacks from other European settlers, as well as threats from Ghana's indigenous African population at the time because of the country's abundance of gold at the time. Forts on the Gold Coast were captured, attacked, swapped, sold, and abandoned as part of a nearly four-century war between European powers for control of the territory known as the Gold Coast. In addition to being strategically located as links in the trade routes created by the Portuguese in the 15th century, who were the first settlers on the Gold Coast, the forts were also historically significant. Due to the growing demand for human labor in the New World, Early colonizers grew interested in the slave trade, which began in the 15s and has lasted until the present day. The elegant fortifications that lined Ghana's gorgeous coastline concealed dreary prisons that were overflowing with grief and despondent people. Nonetheless, irreversible and immeasurable damage had already been done at this point, with estimates stating that 6 million slaves had been moved out of West Africa alone and into other countries by this point. Over the course of the so-called Middle Passage, around 10 to 15 percent perished at sea, and the remaining majority never arrived at their final destination. Tall structures in Ghana, on the other hand, have evolved with time, and they are currently being used for commercial purposes as well as for the benefit of the country's economic development, as previously said. Throughout the United States of America and Asia, skyscrapers can be found in profusion, particularly in New York City. They are regarded as some form of architectural masterpieces that embellish the skylines of the countries in which they are located. One or more of these tall structures serves as a tourist information and attraction center for the surrounding area. The fact that every country has one or two skyscrapers is something to be proud of, at the very least. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which is the world's tallest building, has a total of 163 floors and is the world's highest structure, 828 meters in height. It's quite confusing that Angola's Bangla Belize Libido Tomboko platform, 512 meters, is the tallest structure in Africa, whilst the iconic tower, 393.8 meters, in Egypt is the tallest building in Africa. Other notable structures on the continent include the Carlton Center in Johannesburg, South Africa, 233 meters, the Brinham Tower in Nairobi, Kenya, 200 meters, and the Pont City Apartments, 173 meters, in Johannesburg, South Africa. Ghana do have a few buildings that are fairly tall. The vast majority of these structures are intended for residential or commercial use, depending on their configuration. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed yet you are missing out. Now let's dive into the reason why we are here. In our 10th position, Cal Bank Towers, which stand 50 meters tall. It is a city hallmark to have the Cal Bank Tower, which stands 50 meters tall and offers a panoramic view of the surrounding area. Several various floors are available in this multi-story corporate skyscraper with several different levels. The monument, which occupies a substantial amount of land and is located in the heart of Ghana's capital city, Accra, is imposing in its size and complexity. A 
Among the amenities offered by the 12-story, environmentally friendly headquarters building are a solar farm, an amphitheater with seating for 400 people, a fully equipped modern gym, a jogging track measuring 180 meters in length, and a sky bar. Ninth, the Atlantic Towers, which stand 50 meters tall. A comfortable spot on this list of the country's tallest structures has been earned by the Atlantic Towers in Airport City thanks to its 13-story, 50-meter elevation. Atlantic Towers, a great corporate office complex, provides premier offices for rent as well as commercial space for a diverse range of businesses across a wide range of industries in the greater Toronto area and surrounding areas. Atlantic Towers, located in the heart of Airport City Aqua's rapidly expanding commercial hub, is a secure building with world-class features and technologies, developed by Wall Have Estate Company Limited. 8. Ridge Towers, 53 meters in height Located in the heart of Accra's central business district, this 15-story building was completed in 2005 and has a total height of 53 meters. It is the location of a number of financial institutions, as well as other businesses and organizations. 7. The Octagon, which is 53 meters in length. The Octagon is a landmark building in Accra's central business district, and it occupies a prime location. There are office suites, co-working spaces, and serviced hotel apartments on the first and second floors of this 12-story retail office complex. This ultra-modern commercial project in Ghana has been hailed as the country's first to have a helipad. Its overall height is estimated to be approximately 53 meters. 6. The Heritage Towers, which are 57 meters tall. It is part of the ambassadorial enclave complex of buildings, which includes the Heritage Towers, a 16-story commercial office building in Ridge. Many commercial and financial institutions, including the United Bank for Africa's headquarters, are located in the region. The Heritage Tower, which stands approximately 57 meters tall, is a well-known landmark in the area. Fifth, Exim Bank, 57 meters in height. This skyscraper, which stands at an estimated height of 57 meters and is a new addition to the Ghanaian skyline, has earned its position. One of the country's tallest structures, it stands at a height of 1,050 meters above sea level. From the top of the building, you can enjoy a spectacular view of the surrounding area. 4. Mirage Residence, measuring 57 meters tall. According to the architect, the residential building will have approximately 14 stories and will reach a height of 57 meters when completed. The view of the city from the top of the structure, which overlooks the airport and other significant landmarks in Accra, is breathtaking. 3. The World Trade Center, 60 meters the World Trade Center in Ghana stands approximately 60 meters tall, making it one of the country's tallest structures. It is conveniently located in the heart of Accra, in the downtown Accra neighborhood, directly across the street from the National Theater, and is easily accessible by car or public transportation. 2. Azure, 71 meters in height. Located in the Villaggio Vistas complex, which is the second tallest structure in Ghana and home to the world's largest aquarium, Azure is a section of the complex. On the same site as the tallest building in Ghana, this building, which was also constructed by Trasaco Estates Development Company, is the second tallest building in the world. Azure is a 71-meter tall, red-colored structure with a red exterior and a red interior. In terms of height, it is the second tallest structure in Ghana, and it is located immediately below the country's tallest structure. Top on our list of tallest structures in Ghana is 93 meters tall Alto and Avior Fellagio Vistas. With a height of 93 meters, the Villaggio Vistas building is the tallest structure in Ghana, surpassing the presidential palace. They are a prominent feature of Accra's skyline 
and are among the most luxurious residential facilities in the country. They were built and are operated by Trasaco Estates Development Company, which is also responsible for their construction and operation. Alto, the yellow building, is the newest addition to the Villaggio Vista complex and is now the tallest residential building in Ghana, standing at 27 stories and an approximate height of 93 meters. In terms of height, it is currently the tallest residential building in Ghana. Azure is a red-colored skyscraper with a red roof. Who knew right that Ghana had such an impressive amount of skyscrapers? Africa is indeed evolving and Ghana is not being left behind. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow.